Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can control the speed of your AI car like this. So let's go. First of all let's open up our AI car from the last tutorial. We need two more variables. The first one will be the target speed. Target speed is a float. And let's put this for example to 30. The next one is speed limits. Speed limits is in float as an array. And let's put, for example, yeah, six entries here. So zero, then 30, 50, 80, 100, and 130. Just for example, you can choose whatever you want, but keep the index zero to zero. Compile and save this as well. Let's open up our vehicle movement and let's go to the mechanical setup. Be sure that the automatic transmission is still false. I would also recommend the max RPM to 4000 and the final ratio to 3.0. This is very important for later that we can set up our speed limits. The idea is that we set up our forward gear ratios to the matching speed that we want because we basically defeated the max RPM to the ratio I have a little explanation right here. As you can see, 200 RPM equals 10 km per hour by one to one ratio. So for example, if you want 30 km per hour, you defeat the 4000 max RPM to 600 RPM, so 30 km per hour, and you get a ratio of 6.7. As you can see, you can just calculate the matching ratio to the matching km per hour that you want. I already set this up here as you can see. Let's close this one and create a new function called control speed. Let's start up with the speed limits here and then for each loop like this one. Then we take out our target speed here. We go from the array element and say equal connect the target speed. Of course we need the branch to ask like this one. Then we take out the vehicle movement up here. We want to set the target gear on true to the array index and we check the immediate to true. Then we go from the vehicle movement again and get the forward speed. From the return value we say multiply and put this to 0.036. This is how we can convert the forward speed to kilometer per hour. From the return value we say greater than the target speed. Again, of course, we need a branch to ask like this one. And at the end we go again from the vehicle movement and want to set the throttle input on true as well false like this one. Of course, we have to connect the target again. Up here we want to set it to zero and down here to one. The reason for this is let's say we speed up to 100 and want to go back to 50 so that we can slow down with the throttle input to zero until we reach the 50 and then we can speed up again. We can close this as well and go back to our event graph where we can delete the event begin play and on event tick we just call the control speed function. And just for testing, I set up these buttons here where we can set the target speed. Of course, this is matching to the speed limits. Compile and save this. Let's see if this works. When we hit play, the car is drive up to 30 on the first gear. When we press 2, it drives up to 50, 3, drive up to 80, 100, and 130. When we press, for example, 2, it slows down to 50, of course, like we wanted. Great. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.